Hello people! Today I'm going to be sharing with you um, a secret family recipe. Although it's not so secret anymore, right? Is it a secret family? I don't even know. I'm going to share it with you because I think it's so awesome. It reminds me... My, okay, so I'm half Italian, half German, and my aunt, the, like, she still has Sunday dinner with her whole family. They come over, she makes the sauce with gnocchis and all the good fresh Italian stuff, right? Antipasta tray, all that good stuff. I am not that fancy. She makes like homemade meatballs and all that stuff. I I buy frozen meatballs from Costco and I throw them in the sauce and it's just as delicious, I feel like. So I wanted to share with you my Sunday sauce recipe is what I call it. Other people call it different things. It's basically red sauce, spaghetti sauce. Do you feel me? I used to live in Italy and surprisingly enough, like spaghetti is not what we think it is in America. Very interesting. Anyway, enough of the jibber jabber. I'm going to show you what you need to make this awesome sauce. Do you get it? Awesome sauce? I'm so clever. Anyway. Okay, so here is what you need. Let me first show you my recipe on here. This is real and authentic, guys, not my handwriting. This is like straight from my nani, my nani's recipe. This is actually, I think, my aunt's handwriting. I'm not quite sure. She makes it all the time. It is seriously the best so let me tell you what you're going to need um, a couple tablespoons of olive oil two onions really I need to grab another one crushed gar not well garlic you need crushed tomatoes a huge these are 20 uh, 28 ounce cans um, tomato puree and then two huge things of tomato paste so these are 12 ounce cans each they're the big ones and then you just need some garlic powder, Italian seasoning, um, a pound of ground beef or ground turkey if you want, which is what I normally use, and then a pound of sausage. And then on the recipe, it says to add a pound of, like two pounds of sausage, but I just, I normally do this and it works for me. It's still pretty meaty. And uh, yeah, let's, let me show you how you do it. Okay, so in goes, well, hold on now, I made a mistake already. In goes a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, and you throw in your onion. This is one diced onion. And I dump the ground beef in with it, along with the sausage. And then you just break it up. That beef smells so weird. I haven't had red meat since I was pregnant. I want to say it's been so long. And when I was pregnant, I was like craving it. I was super low on iron, but this is crazy. It smells bad. Now that this is all ground up and the onions are soft, I'm going to add two tablespoons of crushed garlic and mesh that in. Okay, and then you're going to add the 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes and the 28 ounce can of tomato puree. Oh my goodness, it's so much. And then the two um, tomato paste, the two cans of tomato paste. Okay, so guys, I used to have an enormous pot to do this in. It's like spinning at me. Come on, cut it out. I used to have an enormous pot to make this in, but when we moved, I now have an induction oven, so I have to buy special pots, like the stove top doesn't get hot. You see this? It's really weird. Anyway, it's awesome, and it I love the stove top, but... This is the biggest pot I have, so I should have halved the recipe, but I didn't, so we're going to improvise and maybe bring out another pan or, or another pot or something. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to make it work because you work with what you got. All right, now the second can here. I'm just going to plop that in. And I'm also supposed to fit, fill this up with water. Ooh, that's nice. Just fill this up with... Um, like tap water or sink water, whatever, or pure, whatever water you have. Just fill this up with water and then dump it in. And then you fill this up with water and dump it in. Oh, it's spinning 
that made it so hot. Um, yeah, so I think I'm probably gonna run out of room, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. There it goes. Oh boy, yep. Gonna run out of room. All right, I didn't fill these up all the way either. Yikes! Can't believe it. Holy cow! What are we gonna do with this problem? Um, all right. I'm also kind of breaking the rules. A lot of Italians call this Sunday sauce. It's like Sunday you, um, you know, you get together with your family and you have a big meal and this is supposed to like sit on the stove top and develop its flavor all day long. Whatever, this is Saturday. We're gonna, gonna make it on Saturday. Saturday sauce. This is also a great sauce to freeze. I've froze this sauce uh, almost every single time I've made it. There's no way, um, you know, my family of five would eat this, uh, especially since one of those family members is a baby and doesn't eat anything. Um, yeah, there's a ton of sauce here. All right, I'm going to test my luck and try to add the rest of this water in here. There's also a step where you add red wine, and I really think that makes the flavor a lot richer. Um, but we don't do alcohol in this house, uh, but I will tell you, if you do add it, you add half a cup of red wine right before you add all the tomato sauce and it will make a huge difference in flavor. It tastes so much better, uh, but we don't do alcohol and I almost bought some red wine today, but I figured I didn't want like a whole bottle in my fridge just hanging out. You know what I mean? Even though all the alcohol is like cooked out anyway, I just... I didn't have it on hand, and I didn't buy any. You work with what you have, again. Look at that, guys. It fit, barely. It all fit in here, once it starts boils. Once it starts boiling, I'm sure it's gonna like boil everywhere. All right, cool, what else do we have to add? Okay, and then you cover the top of the pan with garlic powder. This is garlic salt, so I'm gonna go get my powder, whoops. And then Italian seasoning. And then Italian seasoning. Oh, that's not coming out fast enough for me. Shwink. Yep, that's good. Maybe a little more. It's a lot of sauce, people. A lot of sauce. Oh, my word, people. I almost forgot the secret ingredient. One half. One half or half a stick? Yeah. Half a stick of butter. Half a stick of butter. And this is like melted, so I'm gonna have problems getting it in, but watch me go. This is how I keep it in my pantry, so, um, you know, I can smear it on toast and stuff. All right, that's gonna melt in and make it taste extra delicious. Ah, I bet you thought I forgot, but I didn't, garlic powder. Uh, yeah, I was just cleaning up my mess, but that's okay. Making a mess is just part of the experience <laughs> when, you're, when I'm doing anything in the kitchen. All right, I think that's plenty. Unless you absolutely love garlic, then add some more. You know what I mean? This is your sauce. Lava. It's molten hot lava. All right, guys, this is what it looks like now. It's um, two hours later, I think, somewhere around there, maybe two and a half. But it has, I think, gone down a little bit. I don't know. I just have it on my low setting on my stove. My stove goes from, whoop, hello. My stove goes from one to 10, and then it has a low setting right below one. So that's what it's been simmering on. I think it's gone down a little bit. I don't know, but here's the aftermath. All right, people, that is the end result. I think there's like 175 ounces right here that I made. Isn't that crazy? So um, I'm going to obviously pop these in the freezer. I'll leave one for dinner tonight. And then um, the big guys will be for when we have like guests or maybe I'll just use half and then plan to use the other half, um, you know, within the same week. But uh, am I wrong? You guys can let me know. I'm going to have to Google it before I actually put them in the freezer. But these are glass. These three are glass. And these <laughs> these are not. These are plastic. But can I put glass jars in the freezer, right? Just as long as they're not filled up all the way. I'm pretty sure I've done it in the past. 
Um, I used to use, well, I usually use um, Ziploc bags, but I ran out of the gallon Ziploc bags, so this will have to suffice. I'll let you know if there's any accidents and glass breaking in my freezer. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this recipe video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you make this recipe sometime. It freezes really well. Not sure if I mentioned that in the video, but I totally froze like 98% of this sauce. And it lasts like, I don't know, six months, a year. Probably, probably don't, don't go a year. <laughs> but it tastes just as good frozen as the day that you made it. It's delicioso. Yes, I'm so Italian. Uh, I'm an American Italian. Anyway, Wentworth is about to knock my tripod over, so I will see you next time. Thanks for hanging out.